Okay. All right, guys, what we're doing right here is showing a <laughs> volt drop. We're going to take an open line or an open circuit voltage across the battery. We can see here, ooh, 12.2 uh, or so. I'm just going to go ahead and switch this over to the connector itself, and I'm drop down to 11.5 volts, so obviously pretty significant. But what we could do is actually measure the volt drop across that connector. You leave your meter in the same setting. Let's get this off auto range. Makes it a little easier to read the meter there. Just got volts DC. We'll go ahead and get a stable check on the, the battery itself again. Come on. And really, how I get a good connection even on the battery itself here, I'm having a problem. Come on. There we go. 12.4. Then go this connection. Now I'm going to go to do an actual volt drop. Uh, check across the connector here. I'm going to go across from the terminal to the connector itself and you can see here that I've got some excessive you know point you know point almost point eight uh, eighths of a volt drop across that connector. So we'll clean this up and then we'll redo the video and see what we come up with. Alright we're back here to uh, see how our, our battery is going to do now now that we've cleaned our connections here quite a bit dielectric grease uh, on the connectors and then also just use some kind of battery cleaning tools that are commonly found and we'll see what type of uh, bolt drop we have. First off we're just going to test the battery again and we have a fully charged battery this time around and so now what our big goal is on bolt drop again is to simply test the cost and we have zero volt drop. So from seven, uh, to actually almost it was almost eight tenths of a volt drop to nothing. And that's acceptable is a maximum of 0 0.2. Now we're at zeros just from cleaning. You can actually see how we could clean a little bit better. If it wasn't one degree here in Iowa today, we'd probably spend a little more time, but uh, we're kind of freezing here. So anyway, that's how you do that test, and uh, life should be good now.